A deck that wasn't even on my radar when I started this journey through Ultra Prism, Darkrai Stoops was suggested to me in the comments of my Weavile deck, uh, by someone whose name I won't attempt to pronounce because I'd probably just end up butchering it. And what's crazy is this deck is surprisingly fun. Using Darkrai Prism's Nightmare Star ability, uh, which reads, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may attach two Darkness Energy cards from your hand to it. So using that, you accelerate energy into play. And then you use the Weavile GX with Shadow Connection to move the Darkness Energy off Darkrai Prism Star. And then you use Scoop Up Net to put the Darkrai back into your hand with no energy. And then you set it back down uh, with more energy. Hopefully, oh, I got a lot of energy. There's 12 in the deck. I use Energy Retrieval and Energy Spinner. I also have Ordinary Rod and Viridian Forest. So I have tons of ways to get energy into the hand. And theoretically, you can get all 12 energy into play on what turn two because you will need weavile gx so on turn two you can potentially have 12 energy into play uh normally weavile gx is played with red and blue and Slow valley gx i i haven't been a fan of red and blue you know it's your supporter for turn you have to discard two cards uh it just it's never been that much fun for me this one's a lot of fun yes it plays really thin lines of pokemon you know i have the mewtwo and mew i have one Greninja and Zoroark, one Mega Save Line Tyranitar, one Umbreon and Darkrai. You know, it's a lot of fun, but there's a lot that can go wrong with it. And the number one thing being that if you prize your Darkrai Prism Star, uh, it's pretty much game over. Uh, still, this is another way to play Dark Box, so let's see it in action. <laughs> Bingo Star. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it's a fire deck, so if they win the coin flip, they'll go second, which should be fine um, because you want to go first with this deck you want to have a better starting hand but you want to get the Weavile GX set up as soon as possible uh, I do play oh I'm the one who has to take the mulligan but I play so many Pokemon how's that how does that even make sense you know I went with a full four Sneasel because I want to show the deck off you know there's a lot of changes you could make to make it not necessarily more consistent but more fun um, this is a great starting hand though. Who cares about mulligans when you have a starting hand like this, right? And is it Vulcanian? Okay, so it's just a regular thing. Whoa, oh, Jirachi start? Yeah, okay. Alright, bingo. Um, so I don't think I want the Greninja and Zoroark to see the field. Uh, I'll just Jirachi first, see what I get. I get Quick Ball, I get Research. Uh, the Marnie's probably a good idea to, to have next turn, so I think just Quick Ball is a smart option, and then Ditch Super Scoop Up. Uh, yeah. And I don't think I'll be... Huh. You know, I have options. I only play two Super Scoop Up. Maybe I should play more, and Dark Art Prism's in the deck. That's kind of step one. Um... I could Dedenne this turn, but that seems like a bad idea. I think I just get the Sneasel, have another Sneasel. Um, or I could just have, because they have a Jirachi start, so maybe I just go with Guzzlord and be like, you ain't got it like that. So I will do that. I will ditch the Super Scoop up, just because it's a coin flip. You never want to take that chance. There's the Darkrai Prism. Uh, I just want to get it to have it, uh, and I'll pass. And I just have to hope that they don't knock out the Jirachi this turn. If they do, uh, that would be unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. You know, I play two Guzzlord. If you're playing Dark Box in any capacity, two, two Guzzlord is exactly what you need. You know, it, it weighs 2,000 pounds, it's 18 feet tall, uh, it doesn't poop. And yes, that is canon. Uh, one of the Pokedex entries on one of the cards here says that its droppings have never been found, even though it eats everything. So uh, yeah, that's canon. That's that's a thing. It's kind of like, what is it? Uh, whatever Pokemon, its droppings are so hot that people put it into their bed to keep them warm. Yeah, kind of. Some of the Pokedex entries are a little weird. Uh, there's a Dedenne. Okay, so that's good if it sees the field because I do play Mega Sableye and Tyranitar. Oh, uh oh, 
Please don't don't do it. Uh oh. Okay, they're going for the Guzzler. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That is not perfect. That is less perfect. Okay, um, I can scoop up the Guzzlord. I will lose the energy. Oh man, this is this is really awkward. I wish that the these were two darkness energies. Um, if I put it into play, I don't get the original effect. You know, I'm just going to Marnie. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the Marnie was the right idea because I don't really have anything going on right now. Uh, I guess I just try and super scoop up the Guzzlord so they don't knock it out, but I can discard the top card of their deck in it. If it's a Welder, they really don't have a way to recover. Um, I think I see if I get the super scoop up. Okay, I failed it anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So I'll just mountain munch. Maybe I'll get a welder or something. And it's a fire energy. That does not hurt them very much because they probably play like three fire crystal. Um, I didn't notice the nine tails, so that's bad. And, you know, the deck is supposed to be really consistent. You know, I played Jirachi. I play four scoop up net. I play a whole bunch of stuff. This isn't even going to be a knockout, which is hilarious. Uh, Guzzlord's a Guzzlord's a bit of a tank. 150 hit points. Oh, there's going to spreading flames. Okay, so um, like the Mewtwo and Mew is going to have to see the field at some point. That's unfortunate because they can knock it out. There's a darkness energy. Does the Jirachi go into play? I don't think so. I think I just put it on the bottom of the deck. Uh, really be nice to see a Viridian Forest. Uh, of course not. Um, this is just really bad, so I'm just going to Mountain Munch again. Okay, so... Good. I don't know why they play Pokemon Catcher and the Ninetales. Maybe it's the, the new Ninetales, the one that does damage if your opponent has a special condition, but that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it'd be that one. So, I think they're just going to go for the knockout. So I will have to knock out the Victini V, but they're down to Welder, so they'll need to put like an Eldegoss into play or get a Palpat or something. Uh, it's really unfortunate that that Heat Factory stayed in play so long, though. And, wow. They had to put four energy on a Victini V just to knock out my Guzzlord. And this is why I don't like Professor's Research. Okay. There's a Marnie. That's not great. Um, I mean, what I can do is scoop up the Jirachi, Pokecom the Jirachi, get Darkrai, and then start swinging? That, that sounds horrible. Um... But you know, I've been I've been dancing around too long. This is this is taking way too long. Uh, let's just go get Darkrai Prism. Let's let's see it do its thing. Let's see if I can actually get this going. And I think I'm just gonna get rid of the hand. I shouldn't have grabbed that Marnie. That was a mistake. Or I just say, oh well, I lose a Sneasel. You know, they have big dudes out there. Okay, I can definitely make this work. So there's a Weavile. Um, so I, I can knock out the Victini V, but I don't know if I want to. You know, they, they have the Ninetales, but oh, what, how'd they get all the... Where'd all their energy go? They had like four energy in the discard. Was I not paying attention to something? Oh, Spreading Flames, that's right. Um, I mean, they could easily Nine Temptations, anything. Uh, especially the Mewtwo and Mew, but I think I just have to do that uh, and just did Denny. See what happens. There's Umbreon and Darkrai. Okay, this is this is good because I can put damage on the Denny. The Mewtwo and Mew is probably going to get knocked out, but that's fine. Uh, I'll just retreat into the Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, do I want you to see the field, though? Because they can't play any trainer cards the following turn, so maybe you do see the field. Yeah, okay, I'll just get a... Um, 
do I get an energy? I mean, what are the odds that I top deck a scoop up net? Probably pretty low, right? Because I'm going to research this hand, so I don't want to lose even more energy. That would just be horrible. And I mean, it's pretty much their choice. How do they want to knock out the Mewtwo and Mew? They have several, oh, they have several options. Um, I think I just want to do Black Lance, right? Dark Union, that's not going to do it. Uh, Dark Union is Greninja and Zoroark. Put two Dark Pokemon GX from your discard pile onto your bench. If it has three energy on it, you can attach energy. Uh, if you wanted to make like Greninja and Zoroark with Incineroar GX, that would be fine. It's just a, it's a little awkward. You'd have to use BD and Dedenne and a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, or you could just play a Dark Rite Prism deck. Uh, the cool thing is, is if the Guzzlord wasn't knocked out, uh, and I had Guzzlord, I could just knock out Victini V, knock out Dedenne, and that's game. And that would be pretty cool. Um, and did I... Oh no, I played Marnie, so I didn't... Oh no, yeah, I played Marnie, and then I did Dedenne, so I didn't go crazy. So I still have Boss's Orders, I still have Great Catcher. Uh, they better attach an energy, because if they don't attach an energy... Good, okay. So... They're knocking this out, but they lose all their energy. Like, is it is it truly worth it? Was it worth it to do that? Um, so who do I go up with? If I go up with Sneasel, I can scoop it up. If I go up with Darkrai, I can scoop it up. Uh, the Lucky Egg isn't really going to come into play, because their hand has a lot. Um... If I go up with Black Lance, I think that's the safest bet because I can Dark Moon and that prevents them from playing a trainer card next turn. Um, I think I just attach and research. I think that's the safe bet because if I get a scoop up net or something, perfect. So I can, you're seeing it. You're seeing it in action right here. Okay, so Energy Spinner, get an energy. Viridian away a Jirachi, get an energy, scoop up the Darkrai Prism, and this is why it's better than Red and Blue, because Red and Blue would have been your supporter for turn, and that would have been bad. But again, if you prize your Darkrai Prism, you, you literally just lose the game, so it is, as fun as this can be, it's not, it's not idiot proof. Um, Oh wow, I got a lot of energy in there. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Guzzlord and Guzzlord and the Mewtwo. Um, doesn't really seem necessary to put the Mewtwo back in, does it? I have 15 cards left in my deck. If I put the Mewtwo back, it can copy some things. But I'm pretty much in a position where Guzzlord is going to be the thing I want to win the game with. But again, Mewtwo and Mew is good. So I'll do that. Uh, I think I'll just hold everything. I will Black Lance. And they can win. They can win this turn, which is really unfortunate. But they'll need, they'll need Welder. They have 10 energy in the discard pile. They have two Welder in the discard pile. Uh, they'd have to get a Great Catcher, a Welder, and a whole whack of other stuff just to win. And one of the sacrifices I had to make with the deck is that I don't think I play any switch. So this, this Umbreon and Darkrai is gonna have to hard retreat. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, I'll probably just hearth away like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't do that. Good, okay. What what are you now what are you doing? Everyone has one retreat except the Dark Eye Prism. So who are you bringing up? Bring up the Dark Eye Prism. Okay. I don't really understand that one too much. So it looks like you're gonna attack with Ninetales V. She's one of your opponents and her Pokemon was attacked. Okay, so what is Dark Moon? They have to have dark energy for the secondary effect to take effect, so that's good. So they can't use Dark Moon for its secondary effect. That would literally just win them the game if they could. Uh, but they would need six energy. Uh, Black Lance, they can do that, but it wouldn't win them the game. Uh, the Victini V 
is obviously a little annoying, but that's okay. So right, oh, there's the Pelfat. Okay, so Marnie wouldn't actually be a great play right here because it would pretty much guarantee them Welder, but I haven't, they have 12 energy in the discard pile. There's no way they can recover from that, right? So I'm just gonna ditch the Sneasel, see what's in my deck. I have a Guzzlord, I have two energy retrieval, I have one scoop up net. Um, you know, I don't really mind too much if they knock out the Darkrai Prism. You know, it's not the end of the game if they do, but I think I just do that. Marnie. Okay, so I should be fine next turn. I uh, I can take the knockout on this Jirachi, but I feel like that would be a horrible decision. If I knock out this Jirachi, they can Welder and Flamethrower, and then I'm out of energy and I'm out of Darkrai Prism. So I think I just put... Put the energy on the Guzzlord, and unfortunately I have to pass. So they're in a position where they have to retreat the Jirachi, and I mean they can they can nine tails with nine temptations to knock out my did Oh man. So that Marnie really helped them. You know, I'll still definitely include this in the video, even if it's a loss, just because you got to see Darkrai Prism, you know? I would have just lost the game a turn or two ago without Darkrai Prism. Okay, so... If they play a... Oh my... Do they have the... Oh man! How many energy do they play? This is, a, this is crazy. Wow. So, if, I gotta see how many energy they have. If I'd just drawn slightly better, I definitely would've won this one, but I just had a really bad start. Right, how many energy are in this deck? 18 fire energy. Wow. Uh, and yeah, everything else is pretty standard. Welder is their only supporter. They play it to Denny. So, Simply because that Heat Factory was able to stay in play for a few turns, that's the only reason they were able to draw cards. Uh, and the Lucky A didn't really help, so... If I'd just been able to draw Viridian right really early, um, that would have been fine. But yeah, no, they they beat me. That's a tough loss. I'll go to Game 2, and if I prize the Dark Knight Prism, you won't see the Game 2 that I would have filmed. Uh, either way, let's go for it. I'm determined to get a win with this deck, so you'll see a win with this deck no matter what. If it takes an hour, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a win with this deck. Uh, I am playing against a Darkness deck, so that's not great, but it will highlight the reason why the Mewtwo and Mew is in here. Oh no! Why did I do that? I was thinking about Mewtwo and Mew when I did that. Oh no. Um, well, that's unfortunate. I should not have done that. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? They're playing a Darkness deck, it's probably Phalanx or something. Maybe it'll all work out. Hey, it is Phalanx. Okay, so I'll just put that down, uh, that down, that down, attach there. Give it the old passeroo. So, you know, it's not the end of the world that I did that. It's not the beginning of the world either, but, you know, I won't be, I don't think I'll lose because of that. I think I'll lose for other reasons. Um, like they have an amazing start with the Phalanx deck. Okay, so they're just gonna, they're just gonna be cruising. Uh, the Guzzlord is, they attacked me? Why would you attack? That is literally the worst decision you could have made right there. Okay. Um, so... 6120, okay, maybe it's not the worst decision because they are gonna survive this turn. Um, or maybe they're not going to survive this turn. Would you look at that? Um, so I'll have to I'll have to use Claw Slash. That's another cool thing is you can copy Claw Slash. It's a three energy, one thirty attack. It's not bad. So I'll just get the energy. Uh, I'll probably yeah I'll use the energy spinner. 
So would you look at that? Darkrai, how could you ask for anything more? Darkrai Prism, if it's prize, okay, it's not prize. If it was prize, then that would have been horrible. But here it is. Like, this is exactly why the deck works. Is turn two, I had four energy in play. And I, I made a horrible decision putting the Mewtwo and Mew up front. But maybe it wasn't a bad decision. You never know. And if if this ordinary rod, if this ordinary rod was a scoop up net, I would have been able to get an extra energy into play. Uh, and oh, right, I got rid of the Guzzlord. Yeah, because unfortunately the Guzzlord. Hey, there's a victory. Well, I said I'd get a victory, and I got a victory. Take that, Phalanx. Uh, okay, I'm not crazy, right? I saw fighting and colorless at the beginning of the match. It said fighting colorless, but there's only eight Pokemon and they're all fighting. Like, I'm not crazy, right? I, I did see that colorless. And maybe it's for the, the energy? Anyway, uh, I'll go to game three and we'll see what happens. All right, a fairy deck. Uh, there's no fire, so I would have to assume that this isn't... Uh, I will... You know, I've gone first every other game. Let's go second this game. Okay. So I think the... You know, I don't even know if the Jirachi is necessary here, but I'll just go for it. You know, I don't play in a skateboard or anything, so I don't really... Okay... Oh, is this the is this the thing? Is this the deck? The thing deck? I can't remember what it is. Okay, so wow. Um, if I just put Guzzlord into play, I think that'll really mess them up. See, this is why. This is why I decided not to go first, is because they would just use Fairy Song and that would have been bad. Okay. So I'm going to ditch the Jirachi, that's step one. I'm going to make sure the Mewtwo and Mew's in the deck. It is. Darkrai is also in the deck. So this is a very winnable match. Uh, I think the Sneasel is more important though. Sneasel is definitely more important than, than the Mewtwo and Mew at this, at this point. Um, so they resist darkness, so that would be bad. Um, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck, that's totally fine. The only one I would want to keep is Umbreon and Darkrai. But I think I'll be okay. Red Banquet, Red Banquet still does 100 damage. Okay, that's horrible. Okay. Thank you. Like, I could have grabbed three energy with Energy Spinner. I could have done a ton of things there if I'd just gotten some things, and I did not. I got the opposite of things. Okay. I mean, my, look, how, look how much I discarded. What, what, listen, why so angry? You're going to have to fairy song to Azernius. And I will have to be careful because Sanctuary GX, move all damage counters from each of your Pokemon to your opponent's active. I will have to be careful with that. Okay, if this is a quick ball, that'd be great. That's a super scoop up. Well, Cynthia's definitely better here because there's a lot of stuff I want to keep here and they have a they have nothing going on in their hand. So I'll just, I'll probably spread it out just to be safe. All right, give me some good news. That is the opposite of good news. I don't want to give them the Viridian. They might be able to take a knockout, so I think I dropped the Jirachi. And I don't know what's going on today with this deck. It is, you know, earlier today I played a game where I, I literally got eight energy into play. I think turn one, like before I even had Weave LGX, I had all my energy. Why, why are you so mad? Just attach to the, to do something. <laughs> you know, I can, they just have nothing going on. I think they're waiting for me to do something. Why are they putting so much on that? Okay. And well, they're going to be happy about this. I think I'm Arnie first and then Jirachi to reorganize my deck. Okay. So I'm going to Stellar Wish. That's a scoop up net. That's good. What? Okay, calm down. Okay, um, if I get scoop up net, I can. 
Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna think my way through this. If I put the Dedenny down, that's a bad idea, but I think I'm still gonna do it because I want some things to happen right now. Um, so if I quick ball the Cynthia, I get the Darkrai Prism, um, or I can just get the Mewtwo and Mew. That would actually probably be smarter. Sure. So unfortunately, because this game has been going so slow, I can do something like this. Uh, so yeah, let's get the Jirachi, Jirachi. Quick Ball, Energy Spinner. So I think I just go for the Quick Ball. What do I get with the Quick Ball? Who knows, probably a Sneasel, right? I Quick Ball the Jirachi, I go and get Dark Eye Prism doesn't make any sense. Uh, Sneasel protects me if they, if I somehow whiff a Sneasel this turn. And then I get the Jirachi. I don't think I put another Jirachi down just because I'm very low on scoop up nets anyway. There we go. Okay, so who do I attack with is the question. I can Dark Moon, but that doesn't help. I can Dark Pulse. So Shadow Connection, I have to do math here, which is unfortunate. Uh, so if I do Dark Pulse, that's going to be 120. And then the following turn I can, yeah, so I think that's the smartest move is using Dark Pulse. Because it does 120. Uh, Sanctuary GX, there's no reason to use Sanctuary GX for them. Uh, the reason I didn't use Black Lance, that does 150 and Snipe 60. So that would have put 210 damage into play. And, you know, yes, that wouldn't have knocked out the Mewtwo and Mew GX, but it could have knocked out the Weavile GX. And that wouldn't have been great either. Okay, so I'm going to... This is totally fine with me. Okay, so I think... All right, that's fine. I think I just super scoop up the Dedenny if I can. I can. I get that out of harm's way. I attach to the Sneasel. I'm, uh, do I Marnie? I mean, they had, they, again, they have nothing happening right now. They can't knock me out next turn. They can Magical Miracle. That wouldn't do it. If I Shadow Connection, I say done, and then I can Black Lance, and then I can Dark Moon the following turn if necessary. So I Black Lance this one, and then I hit this one. I think this is the right call here, because they can't knock me out. No matter what they do, they cannot knock me out. Okay. Um, so, I mean, they could Magical Miracle, that would be, you know, I don't mind. It would be annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I think they're playing, you know, they shouldn't be playing Fan Club, they should, play, they should be playing Sonya, they shouldn't be playing Fisherman, they should be playing Energy Retrieval and Energy Spinner. So, I can just win. If I get Dark Rife Prism, I can just win right here. Which is hilarious. So if I top deck Dark Ray Prism or a Quick Ball, oh man. Okay, so I think I just put I think I just put a Denny back in the deck. Do I even put anything back in the deck? Okay, well I'll attach there. I don't want to Marnie. I'll evolve that. I'm, I'm, I want to win this turn, that's the problem, and I need six energy to do that. And I can't Ordinary Rod anything. If I Marnie, that would actually, you know, now that I think of it, Marnie would actually be a pretty good idea, because it puts all these cards on the bottom of my deck, and I can still the Denny if I need to. Okay. Well, I think I try and, hmm. 
black lance. Um, I don't think I want a black lance. Hang on, how much energy, how much damage am I doing with Umbreon and Darkrai? I'm doing 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. That would be not enough. So I think, oh, Greedy Crush. Oh, Greedy Crush does it. Okay, I wasn't even thinking. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't get the Darkrai Prism play, but I still win. Given the well played, and let's go for a Gagophile GX. Why not? Well, unfortunately, you didn't see Darkrai Prism do anything in that game, but if I had gotten Darkrai Prism, uh, it would have been a much easier game. What else did they have? Oh, wow, they had a whole bunch of stuff in their deck. And all I saw was those ones. That's interesting. And they play the Clefable from Unbroken Bonds, which is interesting. If all of your Pokemon have Fairy Energy attached to it, you're doing 160 for a single energy. And that's not bad. But yeah, the Darkrai Prism deck performed. Unfortunately, Darkrai Prism just decided not to show up that last game. But I'll leave the list in the description. You can take it for a spin yourself. It, as long as you don't prize Darkrai Prism, you have a very you have a positive matchup in a lot of games. I would recommend, you know, maybe going to like two Jirachi and you know adding a switch and an escape board and dropping a Sneasel, uh, maybe adding an extra energy. I think the Mewtwo and Mew makes a lot of sense because if I had to rely on the Dark GX's last game, uh, Fairy types resist Dark, so that would have been not great. But there's a lot of different ways you can play this deck, and you know I'll leave the list, experiment with it, have fun, let me know how it does in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.